way the last everyone welcome whoa my mic just exploded hopefully i didn't i didn't bust anybody's eardrums i don't know what just happened uh oh the lads welcome to a new show we are live here on the american mag and in ufc insiders uh my name is chris as you already know uh paul mason we got for the first time pd proudlock on the channel big up to you my friend thank you and welcome on the show for the first time uh the mighty win unfortunately always joining us and then also Roy Caviani, all the way from Qatar, the Middle East, the King, His Highness, His um, Eminence, the Broke Roy, Highness. on the show for the first time ever, and not in the car and on time. So, oh, no, 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 no. Yesterday was your fault. Uh, <laughs> no, I said it. I told everybody ah. thirty minutes early. I was ready. His Royal Lunas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, and it, we, well, we also might get crazy. a few. We might get a few. Uh, a few other people in. Um, hopefully so, to have their say. Uh, it is the fans forum, and a few of these lads haven't gotten their takes on um, on the game. We're gonna. I want to get uh, you know their takes on on the game that we just uh, over the weekend we beat Wolves three 0 and uh, I would like to hear their opinion as well as we got other pieces uh, piece of information. I want to also talk about Joe Linton yesterday on the max and five our own paul clark Thanks told to us live that um you know that it was that we were in conversations newcastle and and joe linton um not confirming that is there's an agreement but certainly today everybody making videos about that so we can say once again once again that our own paul was right war paul was right ladies and gentlemen uh, so we're going to dive into that and, and obviously uh, hear uh, the fellas that didn't speak on that, their opinion. Um, a few rumors out there out there about Newcastle. Some articles saying that Dan Ashworth already uh, planning two signings for Man United. I want to get these, these <laughs> fellas' perspective on what they think. Um, I think Derek was right. And, and, and I mean, we would be naive to say that because he's on gardening leave, he's going to be uh, one hundred percent transparent and not talk to. He's not going to say, uh, Jim Ratcliffe, I won't talk to you until my garden leave is over. I mean, we'd be naive to, to believe that. Uh, again, Joe Linton. Uh, by the way, I got a funny stat. And actually, now the PD is on the show. I didn't. I didn't plan it. I know he does a food show on the weekends, and uh, I saw something cool. I saw something cool. We're not going to make it a food show, trust me. But I saw something cool on the internet uh, that. Um, Something along the lines of more than one in ten Jordies eat at least one pie every day, and there's a certain flavor that has been revealed. So, um, I, it just it, it was interesting. First of all, what they refer to pie, and I'm assuming these guys as well. I think a pie is a sweet thing, but they're referring to not that at all. It's actually technically real food. So it, it'll be interesting. And then uh, we might get other other pieces of news. And it might, it's interesting to me. It's incredible. I never knew you could get pie. Uh, to me, like, what? Apple pie? Coconut pie? What kind of pie? No. English Make people are different. You don't have exactly. You're talking about beef, chicken. Uh, yeah. and no. I mean, it, it, what? It, but again, I'm the only. This is the American mag, but I'm the, I'm the only American in this show. So I'm not going to go and uh, bash these fellas because it's not going to go well for me. So, uh, but anyways, uh, welcome on the show, of course, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm turning my game because it's popping my ears out. Uh, Paul, Mason, P Peter, Mighty Wayne, Roy, how you guys, how you fellas doing? How you guys Very holding well. up? Thank you. Hi, coach. Very well. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me, let me start with Mason uh, and get his take uh, as far as, because I didn't get you guys' take on, on the, on the match, of course. We haven't, we didn't talk since then. Um Mason, what do you think about the the win over the weekend, man? You bailed on us, but it's okay. I'll forgive you. The fact is, uh, I was say, I was say, Chris, I was say. Yeah, I know, but mighty win was there too. You have no was excuse, he? Mason. He was you could have been the reporter. You could have been our, our <laughs> sideline reporter, man. But you bailed on us. The fact is, it, the internet is greatly shite in Newcastle City Centre. Oh. So the sig I would probably get no signal after the game, but yeah. Um, Nice try, Tony. Second time in the row. Um, uh, the game itself, I thought we were excellent. Um, but I mean, I think I feel like Wolves didn't get off, didn't get off first gear, in my opinion. Um, obviously, Nettle going off at half time, 
saw it was all was all he saw. Um, he couldn't it, face the second half against my man. That's why. But apparently, oh, he's to, uh, apparently, oh, he have a go. But apparently, horsey, uh, oh, horsey, yeah, so. man. <laughs> Pedro Neto done his hamstring, so. Um, I trying to keep up with Dan Byrne. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but yeah, like we were excellent, excellent in the game. Um, obviously, and I said that the um, Wolves didn't get a second, uh, didn't get a first gear. Obviously, it was. I felt like we t- playing them off a park in a way, but I'm happy we took the three points, and hopefully, we'll beat um, Chelsea a week today. Yeah. All yeah. right. Um... Peter, welcome to the show, man, for the first time again. Um, what are your thoughts on this match over the weekend? It was a perf- win we really needed, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, performance was much more better, wasn't it? Wolves couldn't get out with the game, and um, our game plan worked. And we got the two goals uh, in the first half, which was crucial. And they did have a couple of injuries themselves in the second half, so... and. They did give us a couple. They did have a couple of chances themselves, Wolves, but um, we just we were just too good for them on the day. And of course, uh, the third goal from Livermore, you've got to give that one as goal. Uh, goals of the contested uh, goals of the season. I mean, right. we haven't seen a goal like that for a very, very long time. And the fact yeah. is, Pete, sorry, Peter, can I just come in here? But the fact is, as how biased some of the uh, fans are. They'll probably even even give it the freaking G- Garner for for his goal against Everton, oh. and and uh, the Marcus Rashford one yesterday. Well, but uh, they'll give it to one of them. To have, and they shall have it out. Mm, wouldn't surprise me, but you know what? It was all about the three points. Considering we haven't won it, we haven't won it in James's Park in twenty twenty four yet, and we haven't won it home since. Uh, Fulham uh, back in the uh, middle of December. It was crucial we got that win. We really, really nice uh, yesterday just to keep us up there with a chance of finishing into Europe uh, come the end of the season. So the win was massive and we really needed it. Yeah. Um, Ryan, welcome, man, all the way from New York City. Uh, Ryan on the show, uh, always joining from the Audi. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, none of us is balling like you, man. Uh, nice, nice. You don't have to show off, man. You know, you don't have to show. You don't have to be a show off. But uh, I'm saying I can you, leave again. How, how you doing, man? What? I'm driving home right now. There you go. Hopefully you don't lose connection. But uh, give me a quick take on, on the match, man. What do you think? Last, uh, that was one of the most boring performances I've seen. But we still got the job done. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. You know, uh, the, the, looking at the Wolves team, it wasn't that that great at their starting lineup. I expected us to play a lot better, especially since we haven't been ourselves at like the last couple of weeks. So I expected a little bit more link up play. It was kind of a scrappy a game in my opinion. But we still got it done. We still. Had the game by the scruff of the neck the whole entire time. So, hope with the lad, you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, don't wreck on your way home, man. Um, but, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we, we can, you know, any last thoughts on the match? I mean, we – listen, we, we got the win. Some people agree, disagree. Wolves better. Wolves was was bad. Or, or at the end of the day, we got the win. And, and uh, it should, like Eddie Howe said, it should work as a, as a stepping stone. Uh, to recuperate in our, our form. Uh, everybody agree on that? Yep. Well, anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, cut off side uh, on one football. They report today that Dan Ashworth has already been planning signings for Manchester United. Uh, their income and sporting director um, appears to be leading the Manchester club's interest in Syria duo uh, Glazen Bremer and Nico Barella. Um, Nico Barella is good, and um, and for they were both, they were both. I know Nico Barella was, I don't know about the other kid, but they uh, one football says that it's both that new Castle United were interested in that they wanted them, and now they're being linked to Manchester United. Uh, Paul, is this something that we were 
that, that was going to happen anyways? I mean, how do you feel about that? Or, you know, it's definitely, certainly a conflict of interest, but was there really a way to stop it? It's one of those, but it's not as if those two lads are anonymous to anyone in football. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like any right. anyone who's got half of a brain knows of these two players. It's not only, you know, Dan Ashworth's it, not the only genius who knows Barella's a decent player. <laughs> you know, I don't, you know, right. I don't agree with it being like this almighty like vision from him. I'm sure that a lot of clubs are looking at these players, not just Dan Ashworth. So they might have asked him like who he likes, and you might have said to him, like, look, I like these players, but like I said, I think a lot of teams are probably, if you ask many teams in the Premier League, do you want Barella? Is anyone going to go, no, nah, no, nah, not interested in him? <laughs> don't like the sound of him, he doesn't look that, that, that good. It's like asking someone if they want Haaland, isn't it? It's like, do you want Haaland? Ever heard of him? Like, you know, these players are pretty, uh, you know, pretty synonymous if you follow football quite passionately. Um, so, it's not one of these like Brighton finds where only like two people have really heard of him and you know hardly got any games and then you, you know do this does this masterstroke of getting these players in, but that's more thanks to that the super computer thing they've got in Brighton um, more than you know more than Dan Ashworth he got a lot of credit for a lot of things that weren't really him, um, you know it's interesting like we said you know now he's gone a bit more, it's interesting seeing that the Joe Linton stuff moves forward. Uh, which is interesting, whether he was being a block to that or whatever, that's another thing that's been out there, that he was causing some of the, the problems between the contract being sorted. And apparently Amanda Stavey's got more involved in it like now and pushed it a bit more, which is interesting. So whether, you know, they, they obviously, you know, and that's good because we all know that he, it would be mad to let him go. You know, how stupid would we be to let someone that good leave the club? Um, but yeah, with, with the whole Dan Ashford thing, like I said, I don't think it takes a genius to realise these players are really good. Um, I don't know what the law is on him uh, talking to Man United because on Gardner leave, what I understand, I mean, I'm talking about an, an industry I've worked in, so it, it might be different football. I'm just quoting what I know as a manager in the past. When I've put staff on Gardner leave, they are not to have any involvement with anything to do with that business. They're still technically employed by me, but they're being told right. to actually not engage in 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 that whilst they're on that, that type of leave. Like I said, I'm talking about my business in healthcare. I don't know what if it's different in football, it might be. But I've done I've put staff on garden leave in the past, uh, when they've done something that hasn't been brilliant. And I've said to them, look, you know, you can't work here, you're not safe enough. I need to put you away and you're going to be on garden leave, so you can't, you know, you can't talk to other companies until you, this is up. Um, so I don't know whether it's a breach of that, if it is true. I mean, and, you know, whether there's any proof of that, you have to see. But it would be interesting to see if he has been talking to Man United, if that's a breach of that, you know, that type of leave. Because, like I said, from my experience, it, in in the in the companies I've run, it would be. But I don't, you know, I'm not pretending to know the contract as in foot in, in football. Yeah. Uh, Roy, uh, what do you think about this? You've had a very unique opinion. Uh, is you know we don't censor anybody, and much less you. Uh, you have called them a few. Uh, you have a, 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 you've you've had a, an interesting choice of words towards Ashworth that we have <laughs> utilized uh, really well in the channel, uh, either on TikTok, Instagram, or uh, any any other video. So uh, thanks for the content. Uh, but uh, what are you what are your thoughts on this, man? Um, I, th I think it's, it's bullshit news, really. It's just speculations and filling pages with bullshit. Um, he's the, he's isn't going to leave, so he's not going to go and leak that he's speaking to someone. And those two players, we well, were but he with, doesn't have to leak it. But yeah, but we were linked with those players, yeah. or one of them at least. And so that, somebody we just wrote the article, whatever. But, ah, he was Newcastle were linked with them. He was going to bring him. Uh, so let's do this and let's link it. Yeah, it's bullshit. And uh, they can have, I, think, I think if we were to sign Barella, we would have signed him last summer. So I don't think he's coming. So yeah, let, mm. let Manu have the read. And it doesn't bother me. He's, for me, he's gone. We just give us the but 20 it, million it, it, and he can bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give us the 20 million. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so well, I think. I mean, bullshit. that's. I, 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 I expected Both a more explosive. Well, no, got... well, no, nah, nah, because um, with with the speculations and ITK stuff, uh, I, I, I believe nothing. It's just all bullshit. Well, but I mean, what I mean, the fact that it could happen, even if this is right or wrong, or the players are not important, or you know, they're they're. The worldwide known, yeah. but just the mere fact that it could happen, that he might be, or do you believe that 100% he's he's being loyal to his commands of not working or talking to anybody while he is on Guardian leave? Uh, no, no one knows, but um, those players are famous. So if Manu were going to buy them, they don't need him to tell them. Oh, but yeah. Because he plays for Italy. Was that yeah. the... Uh, they, Played in the World Cup qualifiers and the mm. Euros and stuff. We'll we'll see him right. in the, we'll see him in the summer. So yeah, it's not like he found some nineteen year old wonder <laughs> kid in Ecuador or something. That's when we think, yeah. oh okay, All right. he's been doing uh, something. If they sign a few wonder kids, then you think, oh okay. But, uh, but Manu, mighty wind? What do you? What? Yeah. Sorry, man. There, there was a delay. Uh, well, I guess there's a delay. Well, Barella, for a start, if you, if you go to the, the alleged front of all knowledge, Fabrizio Romano, who everybody thinks is God, he had us, he, he had us signing Barella and was saying Tenali. He had us signing Nunes and was saying yeah. Isaac. He had us signing... Um, Oh, what do I call it? Bruno's Dave, made at West Ham. Pedro. He put as well, he put him in the Newcastle kit, didn't he? Saying, here we go, mm. and it didn't even happen. Paqueta, yeah, yeah. Paqueta. No, but uh, what do I call the West Ham kid, man, the Brazilian? Um, yeah, Paqueta. Paqueta, yeah. Paqueta, yeah. He, he had a saying Paqueta, and we got Bruno. So that's what Fabrizio Romano knows as far as I'm concerned, diddly squat. And I think the important, the important thing with the Joey Linton bit is exactly what Paul just said, that uh, it would appear that Amanda has taken the uh, the reins on that, so no doubt we'll get the job done, much as she did with Anthony Gordon when, you know, in the Amazon documentary when it was all tone and throw and tone and throw, and Amanda just got it done. By hook or by crook, she got it done, and I'm absolutely sure she'll do the same with Joy Linton. As regards Ashworth Gordon and leave, you can say what you like, but saying things, believing things, the only way that would be any repercussions is if they actually had proof, proof that he'd been doing it. And and to, to, to try, you know, there's so many ways it can be done. It, it, you know, I mean, what's up, military security, you know, it's, 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 it's impossible to stop him doing what he's doing, impossible. But let's just make it as hard as we can for them to do it until they stump up the cash, basically. As regards the game at the weekend, I think a lot of people are going overboard. Uh, the main thing was the result, because if we hadn't got the win, it would have been 11th or, or potentially 11th with... Chelsea would have been a point behind with a game in hand, even if we just got a draw. Wolves would have still been in front of us. So that was the main thing, just get the get the result. But it was good to see Willick back. Uh, you know, very good to see Willick, Willick back. And it just, you know, it re-energised that midfield, which has been the, you know, the Achilles heel for the last three months. And long may it continue. That's all I have to say. Thank yep. you. That's it. So that, is that it? Is that it for tonight? Oh, is that it for tonight? Oh man, I thought we, I thought uh, you were about to make my night. Yeah, this is about Dan Burn. Uh, yeah. I, I won't reiterate well, the fact that Dan Burn was decent. Well, he, he did skin him a few times, but it's okay though. I mean, I'm not necessarily raging about that. He'll skin most people. Uh, so uh, you know, but I think Baron played played all right. I mean, yeah. the the main deal is why Longstaff still playing in this team. 
I just don't understand. Well, I have. That is the big question. That's a burning question of the day. Why is Sean still in the team? I mean, fortunately yeah. now we've got a we've got a really good bench to pick from. Uh, not as good as it could be. Not as good as as good as it will be. But right now, spot on. And yeah. it's it, it's uh, therefore keeping everybody on their toes, which we haven't had for a long time. Yeah. Onwards and uh, upwards. Um, uh, uh, PD, what what do you think about about these Ashworth rumors? D does it matter, or should we just turn the page, move on, and then, uh, uh, yeah, what what do you think about that? He's going by the looks of it. He's on his way to Man United. Um, he's replaceable. He's definitely replaceable. It would be surprised me if the club are working on getting a new director of football in already. But, um, yeah, it is what it is, unfortunately. And um, we move on. And he'll, he's definitely going. Yeah. Oh, yeah and there, there's no going back. No. There, there, there is no going back. For the top. <laughs> well, what was that? I said, have the club found Derek yet for the job? Have they? Oh, have they found him? Yeah, no, he, I told you, he, he we'll never get rid of Longstaff. He wants to sell him for forty million plus. <laughs> we're in, we're no get rid of him. <laughs> for, forty million pesitos. Forty million. What was that joke somebody said on the chat? Uh, he told his 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 last that she looked like a million um, Italian lira or something like that. <laughs> she smacked him or something like that. I don't know, but. Uh, <laughs> but um Bully and Mason tonight, I tell you. Ah, what, what was Chad's getting up at Mason? Tony, David, name the two. <laughs> the, yeah, the chat's going in on Mason, man. What's up? Hey, leave Mason alone. <laughs> Our little teddy bear. What do you sell? But instead of bullying freaking me, Bully Ian Fleming. <laughs> oh, no, bully come Derek. on, he sports freaking he sports freaking well, bully, bully, bully Derek. Bully yeah, Derek, why, why Derek. is that? Uh, let me let, 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 let's let's steer back to, to the discussion. But Mason, what do you think, man? I mean, um, just last thoughts on this, uh, whatever Ashworth nonsense, uh, so we can move on. That's worth just just a just a Chris. Have you got Colin backstage there? <laughs> I don't, I don't. He got lost no, he's not, he's not backstage. Speech. Got lost no. in cyberspace. He got lost in cyberspace. Mason too, because Mason didn't answer my damn question. Bully Mason night. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, I think Ryan Ryan's still driving, so we're going because the, the background noise might be might get too crazy. Uh. But uh, I mean, we can we you know we we can move on to a different discussion. I mean, we talked about Joe Linton also yesterday a little bit. Paul, you you gave us a a piece of news that somebody had uh uh you know, leaked uh, to you. And it was good information because today everybody ran with it. Um, I mean, it is looking like it is going to get done, isn't it? He signed, by the way, Steve Bruce. Uh, he signed with, I mean, he, yeah, Joe Linton signed with Steve Bruce, which was insane. Um, never his well, and he definitely he never played on. The deal was good before Bruce took over. Yeah. It wasn't Steve what? Bruce. It was, it was a week was before I think Steve Roos uh, took over. Oh, it was, oh, was it? Yeah, well, it was when I, I remember. What was it? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah was, but um, go, uh, I mean, this is nine. basically yeah, number nine. But that, that's why he was playing everywhere. To be honest, I mean, but you know, I I don't know how uh, Eddie How put uh, saw uh, mm -hmm. him By playing accident. in the in the midfield. I didn't. It was by accident. You think it was by accident? It was, you know, it was an orange game. It was when um, it was a uh, thing yeah. got sent off in, yeah. in, our, in like the first Kieran, few minutes. Kieran Clark, Kieran Clark Kieran got, sent, got off. sent off, and he shoved Joe there, and, uh, and it, it was just it was just ridiculous. It was just so good. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, and then by the way, what, what the a think... manager we've got. And I think Man United was out. Was that Colin the game is in the, in the chat. 
It was. It was not. They're having I, that horrible. We still haven't had a win, have we? Come on. We're, st- we're still in the bottom three when that happened. Yeah. And then I swear that's when we went to. There he is. What's going on, Colin? You, Colin? All the way from the tune. From the tune. Oh, from the tune. Uh, right, couple Colin. of things, right? Couple right. of things. Hi, lads. You all right? All right, mate. We're doing great, man. Right. Well, first thing, I had a, a couple of firsts on Saturday. First time I had a bet this year at the match. And you'll never guess what. Five quid on Isak and 3-0. 30 to 1. Nice little, 150, nice little 150 quid return. Eh? Get in. Dang. Dang. It can buy right, my, take, my take on the match. My take on the match. Uh, I actually thought, believe it or not, that it was a fairly even game. If you look at the goals we scored for once, for once, we've got the break of the ball. So the first goal, you know, the ball comes in, bounces off one of their players, goes to Isak, he nods it in. A little bit fortunate. Second goal, great first time cross by Murphy. The keeper and their defender clash. Ball breaks, goes straight to Gordon, he knocks it in. Another one, bit fortunate that night. And then the last goal, which obviously, because we're two now up and I'm screaming, screaming every time we're going forward in the last few minutes because I've got three now to get 150 smackers. Great, great run. Uh, by mm. Tino, but again on the break, and I don't know exactly what happened there, but he definitely didn't mean to knock it in the way he did. So, if you take, and I know at the end of the day, you know you have good luck, you have bad luck, and we've we've had some bad luck. But overall, I wasn't that impressed by the performance, man. Mm. I wasn't. Right. But well, would you would you would you expect would you expect more for uh, you know for a team that is not playing well? So you know they'll they'll they would catch their uh, their form their natural form of playing well gradually instead of just overnight. Or what what do you think about that? Well, no. I mean, I think um, look, I'm not saying that we're not. I think we've got good individual players. I think last season. You know, the high press really worked, full of energy. But at the end of the day, that type of enthusiasm never lasts. You know, you, 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 right. you, if you look at the teams who consistently uh, uh, have done well in the Prem over the last, uh, well, take City. City don't high press. What they do is quick pass, quick pass, quick and move, quick and move. Every single player in that City team, you name me one player in that City team who hasn't got pace. Not one. Every single player's got pace. And the other thing they've got is the move, the pass. It's one, you know, one, one touch, two touch, pass. One touch, two, one touch, pass, pass, pass. What Eddie's done to change the tactics, what we did against uh, Wolves was we sat deep. We almost played a low block. There was no high pressing on Saturday, none at all. So when people say that Eddie hasn't got it, and I'm not criticising Eddie, I'm just saying a lot of fans have said he hasn't got a plan B. Well, he had a plan B on Saturday, and his plan B on Saturday was because we're so slow in midfield and so people go on about Dan Byrne being slow. Against Nottingham Forest, when Alanga went through for that first goal, or was it the second goal? You watch that again. You had Shaw, Botman and Byrne were chasing Alanga. 
Burns started off slightly behind Botman and Shaw. And he was the one who nearly got the tackle in on a langer. So, yes, Burns slow, but I'll tell you what, Botman ain't quick. Shaw is definitely not quick. And Trippier is slower than what bloody Burn is. We've got no, 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 well, I'll tell no. you what, you watch it. We've got no pace in the back No four. way, no way. And no no way the trooper is slower than Burn. Say again. That could, could be me and you agreeing. No, no way that Trippier is uh, slower than Burn. I had you I on well, back. But well, listen, I'll tell you what, he's not hard. quick. He ain't well, quick. Well, let's put but all way. I'm He's... saying, right, all I'm saying here is, all I'm saying here is, so the reason why, uh, yeah, we've had injuries, but the other thing is we've been sussed out. You get sussed out in the prem. And what they've realised is when we do a high press and we get the, the forwards uh, pressing high and we get the midfield pressing high, if you knock the ball over the top of the forwards in our midfield, you're laughing if you've got uh, quick players because they're going to be straight onto our defenders. The midfield haven't got the pace to get back and the defenders are slow. So what Eddie has finally done, which he did against Wolves, is he's played deep. He hasn't pressed and he's played deep. And what we actually did was what teams have done against us, which is... We hit the ball over the top. All three goals that we got were breakaway passes over the top, which is good, but we're slightly fortunate. So, uh, uh, you know, I think we'll go too far down when we get a defeat. But I think what we're doing against Wolves is we're going too high up. It wasn't, we, that was not a particularly good performance. It was a win. We needed the win, but by no way was that. Uh, uh, I would put it at a six out of ten performance. Wolves had the two uh, uh, top forwards were out. Uh, I forget the name of the midfield player who uh, was it Paulina who got uh, uh, couldn't play just before the game, and Neto got injured quite early on. They had four of their best players out. So, yeah. Good win, good win, but not a great... Good win, great three points, but not a great performance. Well, uh, well any, anybody anybody wants to debate that? You know, the, the floor is open. Uh, anybody that wants to, to debate that? Uh, don't, don't, don't be scared. He's not, he's not buying. I'm just... Un unusual, more or less what I said. And that's no, not like... Anyway. Anything. <laughs> well, no, you only love Dan Burn, man. <laughs> yeah, no, no. yeah, you only love that Dan Byrne. Yeah, that's right. You just put. Hey, uh, uh, Colin, you, you how long? How long has uh, Derek been your mate? Too long. Too long. Have you, you ever, seen Derek uh, performing? Did you ever seen Derek? I would performing? say uh, about fifty-four years. Fifty-three, oh, fifty-four years. You guys were alive when Jackie Milburn was playing. Anyway. Uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna, I want to play a, a tune, uh, that, you know, the might win, he's a performer, he's a performer, yeah. so, uh, watch this, watch this. You'll uh, never uh, ever be Dan Burn, he's from Blackheart, you'll uh, never uh, ever be Dan Burn, he's from Blackheart, hey, he's from Blackheart, hey, you'll never <laughs> ever be Dan Burn, he's from Blackheart. Uh, man, are you embarrassed of your mate? Available on iTunes. <laughs> Look, we, 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 made, we, made, we made Colin smile, by the way. This whole time he was serious. Now we made him smile, man. I love it. <laughs> he couldn't believe. And by the way, yesterday on yesterday's show, he was... Uh, um, he called in late. He came on late on the show because you know he was helping the neighbor and um, <laughs> in some intricate, intricate situations. Um, yeah, he got stuck. You know, like one of them dogs. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he was late, man. But 
I mean, Mason, you were saying, sorry, sorry, we cut you off, mate. I was going to say, I know, I was just, I think he was on about Joe Gomez there for the midfielder who would have missing, they would have missing. Ah, uh, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I knew it was him. Brilliant lad up front as well. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, so, but what do you guys think? I mean, we a few of the fellas talked about it yesterday, but, uh, I mean, what do you think about Eddie saying that um, this, there was no nothing different from this performance than the Blackburn performance? Other than we won and we scored and all that, to me is night and day, uh, and really nothing I, I would like to repeat that Blackburn match. Um, I don't think he. Was, I don't think he's very happy with how we played, which right. is good. But I, I definitely think that part of training, like we said yesterday, I definitely think part of training was, look, we need to keep the shape a little bit better because that's what you know. We can't keep chipping all these goals. It's ridiculous. Like with. We look so weak defensively when we've been really strong at that, especially last season. Um, and I think one of his first things to the lads was was definitely look, keep the shape. Even if we look like the away team, we we want to keep that clean sheet. You know, keep that that defensive stability that we've had. And then, as simple as it sounds, <clears throat> you always say like, if you need to get back to it, you always say like, build from build from basics. And that's the basic. Get that right. Attack counter attack hit them on the break when you can. Um, do you know I mean then you can build on that? Like it's not it's not a performance you're gonna remember, you know, obviously it's it's a decent performance after Blackburn for definite, but like we said already, it's a performance you can build on. It's not we don't want this all the time, but it's something you can think, okay, well we got a win, then we can take that into Chelsea. I mean Chelsea are in disarray. I mean I don't, God knows what's going on at that club. I mean really they're in they're in they're in absolute, you know, just nosedive yeah. really just seem to go from one trouble to another each week really and their fans are fed up with Poch and you know and it is what it is for them so you know we're, we're getting up against a team with a lot of um you know a lot of frailty themselves so it's going to be an interesting game uh, on Monday because you've got us who are you know coming back to some form but not our best and then you've got Chelsea who are kind of a weird team that can sometimes turn up and sometimes look like a a bottom three club at times they they can look awful <laughs> you know they really can they look they can look really terrible so i'll take that you know i'll take that especially after the terrible backburn game i'll take a you know a dodgy performance but a three nil that's you know mm. good teams win when they're playing badly and that's that's a good can, thing to have can we can we beat chelsea playing like this like we <laughs> like the way we even though this chelsea is not playing well so i mean Taking that in consideration, can we beat Chelsea playing like we did against Wolves? Well, we beat Chelsea effectively. When we're playing better, game. right? Beat them at home. No, no, when we were playing worse. Do you think we were playing worse then? Chelsea in the league. Yeah, December. Yeah, December, so yeah. I agree there. That was one of our worst games. I know it was 1-1 and then we went to penalties. No, yeah, well... And oh. They get one one. That was only because we were done in. Yeah, but we we, we, we we never had a chance the whole game. Our, our goal came through a mistake by one of the Chelsea yeah. defenders. Our, our squad now we, we did not the whole game. The last time is, is in much better shape. Much better shape. But we seem better now, and then Chelsea seem worse. <laughs> You think yeah. that we were playing this uh, work better now than we were playing then? Yeah, that was in the middle of the December crisis. Oh, no, I don't agree with that. In game. You know, they were shattered, man. They were shattered then, when we played the last team. And then we, that's when well, we beat the 4-1. One. How, how, no, no, the 4-1 was before. No, no, way we, before. We, 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 whoa, whoa, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you, you guys you guys mean at the on the Carabao Cup. Okay, which... Yeah. which we oh no no the whole still... game we just played them off the park. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Which wasn't I mean that was November twenty three. I mean the the, the yeah, Carabao Cup was December. That was that was before we played ten games in th in thirty days in December. Yeah. So December answer my question. So answer so answer my question then. Playing like we did against Wolves, can we beat Chelsea on the weekend? Probably. I think. So. Yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, look worse. they look worse at Sanford Bridge sometimes. They look worse there. Yeah, the crowd get on them. Yeah. Let me, yeah, the let me, let me get, let me get. Yeah, the defense isn't great. 
Yeah, let me get Ryan's opinion. Ryan, uh, what do you think? You think we can we can beat them on the weekend? Playing like we did against Wolves. Wolves compared to Chelsea, Chelsea has way more quality than Wolves. And that's just Wolves the way Wolves played on Saturday, they're not start come a couple of their players that weren't starting. Chelsea's players that aren't starting are way more quality than those Wolves players. Yeah. Um, well, that's his opinion. Uh, Peter, Peter, PD, what do you think? I think they'll probably still maybe be a little bit more better. We haven't got a good record at Stamford Bridge as of late as well. So, but we they're beatable. They're beatable. They're just poor, even though the the um I, the two two draw was very unconvincing for them. Even the fans are saying it as well. Yeah. <clears throat> you said Brentford the football is so bad from them. Yeah, Brentford should have won that game. Yep. Yeah. Chelsea are a uh, team of individuals. Team. That's a yeah. yeah. If we turn up, we'll be. But them. but, but let me let me. So now I'm 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 put in a, a position where I'm going to sound anti everything Newcastle. Uh, but uh, if Chelsea is a, is a team of in, in, individuals, what are we? I mean, we are are, are we don't we don't play good. No, we, we, we're, we're not. A, we're, a, we're team not who, a team who we, freaking we, tries the best, unlike Chel, unlike what Derek just said. A team full of inju- individuals. We're a team who freaking tries every game. Well, not all of them. But look, look no, how we've been playing. I think we're, our we're problem our is, who, yeah. Look no, our, our problem. No, I think so. we're not missing players we're now. Looking, we're looking at a good option. Starting at Chelsea, would have start. Oh yeah, I would assume he's going to. I, I would assume. I would assume he definitely has to uh, to co- to to help out with Burn on the on the left side. Players like that, I think, will make a difference. So that's what I'm saying. I think we'll start with the same eleven again. It'll be unchanged. Yeah, it'll be unchanged. Unless yeah. unless Trippi is not fit still. Yeah. Mm. The one thing we still right. haven't got to strike that. To rely on. Say what? So Isaac's much better than the Jackson guy. That no, Jackson's yet. awful. But, but can yeah. you get ninety minutes Jackson, out of Jackson? Him? Shit, Jackson. Shit. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with what Eddie's doing now. Sixty minutes and then course, do the course, change Palmer's around. Then. <laughs> cool, Palmer. We were who we were after in the summer. Palmer, Palmer's good. Yeah. Exactly. I feel like he's guardable though. I, par- I, I feel like P- Palmer is guardable. He's very good. He's not like Foden. Foden sometimes is unguardable. Palmer, he, he, I feel like he's still guardable. He's he's good, but that's just how I feel. I rate him. Yeah. I rate Palmer. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I still think we get something. Yeah. Mm. I agree. Well, and, and again, we we're gonna we're gonna dive deep into into how that's high wrong. we can finish. Uh, uh, in in the middle of the week, but uh, Colin, what do you think, man? Do you playing like this? Do we beat Chelsea on the weekend? I mean, Monday, actually. Well, I think the way we are playing at the minute and Chelsea are playing at the minute, I don't think I'd be surprised if either of us won because I think we're both beatable. Yeah, that's 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 my opinion. Uh, I mean, our away record, although we've done better recently away from home, uh, our away record isn't uh, isn't great. Um, I mean, Chelsea really, you would have thought that yeah, they've got a they're a team of individuals, but they've got some hellish good players, wow. and you would have thought that you would have thought that Pochettino uh, would have produced a. I've got a better tune out of them than what he has. So that either tells me that the players that they've signed aren't anywhere near as good as what we thought they were, or they thought they were, or Pochettino isn't as good as what we think he is. Uh, But as far as whether we can beat them playing again the way we did against Wolves, I would doubt it because I think... Uh, we played, uh, you know, we played deep and we're just going to invite a team like Chelsea on 
So I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. It kind of happened. It kind of the same thing happened in the Carabao Cup. Um, we everybody, you know, said blame Trippier for a mistake. Sure, he made a mistake, but uh, we also scored on a mistake by them. Um, and uh, if that wouldn't yeah. happen, then we would be nil, nil, and and we'll. We, I, I don't know what would have happened. Um, certainly, we made mistakes on that one as well. So, uh, but um, it, it should be. I agree with Colin. I think it it could. We're both very beatable teams. I, I, I'm not. You know, I, I got to straight to it myself. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say that Chelsea uh, are bums. I mean, they certainly haven't played. Well, but they do have individuals that can win you a game at a certain time, and that's all it takes in football. One moment, one opportunity. And uh, exactly. And, and, and Newcastle, to be fair, I don't – other than Isak maybe having an opportunity, but he can't create it really by himself. Um, we are not a team of uh, uh, that has that one individual that can take over the game. Really uh, nice. We well, the injured, the injured. Like Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Gordon. Uh, yeah. When, how long, how, how often has Gordon done that? Is it, is that Bru- what gets me with Bruno is what you know when you look at the first half season when we signed him, the goals he scored, the positions he got into, when the assists he had, he's never been the same player since. You know, yes, he's a good player. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's a top player. Uh, but how many goals has he scored in the last season and a half? It's probably only, what, six, seven? He scored more than, more in his first half season with us. I'm, I, I'm, just, not, I'm just not getting it with, uh, you know, Bruno, uh, without a shadow, he's our best midfield player. But at the end of the day, is he is he creative? Is he scoring goals? If you compare, let's say, Bruno to, we'll just say, De Bruyne, he's not in the same league. If De Bruyne's a 10, Bruno's a 6 at best, a 5 even. But Bruno plays, and I still think like- we absolutely, absolutely need a really dominant midfield player who, uh, you know, and I, Bruno's not that man for me. Bruno could he's, he's wasted. I believe Bruno Well, that's the only, that's the, uh, Mighty Wynn says he's wasted at DM, but that's the only position he can play right yeah. now. He's wasted in holding midfielder. But where, where else can he play? We don't have, we don't have anybody. And again, I, I think I, I do rate uh, Bruno. Bruno, and I think that he can, uh, if he had somebody to play as DM, and he can be more liberated. Well, that's right. he, that's he could... why De Bruyne, with Rodri behind him, exactly. is going to look much better than what Bruno does in his exactly. Slow but a, but at this moment in time, there's nothing, to do both. there's nothing. And, and by the way, uh, well, Colin brings up the point that Bruno is 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 a six compared to. To um, to the Bruyne, but you're looking at him in this team with a depleted midfield, with a young guy that's usually playing next to him. Now Willock is coming on. See how that that works out. Worked out well last game, but also you don't mention that there's a Jordy next to him that is just blank. He's not playing. He's not even playing bad no more. He's not playing. He's and so and and to have to carry. All that weight in the midfield, you have to defend, create, you have to attack, pass, cook, clean, and do all that stuff. Then there's no nobody, not even De Bruyne. You put That's... De Bruyne in this midfield with long staff, and he'll ha- he, he he he'll get sick. I mean, he, <laughs> he, he you know he nobody can play uh, with 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 somebody that uh, that simply I don't know what the hell's going on with him, but he doesn't exist in the midfield. The key stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah is I would have to uh, say. Last season, uh, towards the end of the season, where Longstaff uh, was injured, people were saying, fans were saying the midfield's not the same without Longstaff. That Longstaff became a better player when he wasn't playing. So I'm no great fan of Longstaff, but at the end of the day, 
uh, he was uh, one of, uh, uh, you know, the most consistent players in that team that got into the Champions uh, League last season. So how come this season, you know, fans are saying he's no good? It's like Burn, Burn was a player who got us into the champion. And, and just, can I just say for the person who posted up uh, that I said uh, Bruno's a five out of ten, uh, no, what I said was compared to De Bruyne, he's a five out of ten. Uh, even if you look at the effect that uh, Barclays had at uh, uh, Luton this season, Amazing. You know, he's probably on a comparison with Bruno. Bruno's a bloody good player, but he's the best midfield player we've got. And if you look at, uh, uh, if you want to be a top four consistent uh, uh, Premier League team, then you've got to have, uh, uh, you know, players who have got more strings to the bow than what Bruno has. And that's not to say that Bruno wouldn't wouldn't be one of those players in midfield, but when he's our best player in midfield, in my opinion, uh, you know, and is Tonali the answer? Tonali didn't show anything to me, in the few games that he had, he was totally overhyped against Aston Villa. Yes, he scored and he had a good game, uh, but he was totally overhyped. And all I saw from Tonali in the games that he played for us was every time he got the ball, nine out of ten times, he just passed it straight back to the player who had given it to him. He has vision and he has he's good feet. He's class, Tonali. Uh, Didn't play well, enough games, though. Exactly. Yeah, no, Tonali, Tonali, I do believe that he's going to be great, but, I mean, th surely he didn't play enough games. I think he's going to be great, though. I think he is going to be... A starter in the midfield, uh, and Longstaff will be dropped. Uh, you know, well, I don't know anymore. I don't know. Without a number six, so Tonali's never played six in his life. Yeah, but Joe Linton will. So counting that everybody's gonna. Joe Linton won't be a six. Yeah, yeah he's a DM. He can play DM. He play DM nah, more on the left. But but yeah. but so uh, but, but fellas, we got it. We, we we only got three spots. So, are we going to bench Joe Linton? Are we going to bench Tonali? Are we going to bench Bruno Guimaraes? Who are we benching? No, no, you have, have no, Joe no. Linton and Bullock fighting out for that left left side. And you've got Bruno and we've got Bruno in the middle. Man, and he knows you, exactly what we need. There's only one, one way. Tonali sitting deep. But yeah, we're long And Bruno center mid. That's it. There's, there's no way that Eddie is going to uh, bench Tonali or Joe Linton or Gimme Rice. Come on. No, it's going to be the same way we're playing now. It's just uh, Longstaff's out and Tonali, in, like yeah. we did in the beginning of the season. Well, we're struggling because there's no. Well, not necessarily. We don't, we don't know. It's the, we don't, we, it's the same team we had last year. You've got those three playing well. If those three are playing well, you don't need a DM. That's what Eddie says. That's, That's his master I mean. plan. I don't need a DM. Well, club club says the same thing. Club club says the same thing. Club says the same thing. He has McAllister play there. He's not a traditional DM, and it's turning out pretty well. They just won a Carabao Cup. So, what do you think about that? Against yeah. a terrible Chelsea. Man, yeah, we can't yeah. beat we we can't we can't beat Blackburn. You <laughs> we did I mean, beat them. We did beat I mean, them. I mean, well, by penalties, but I'm saying. Yeah, we still Mate, still if, win. Still if we win. worried about Chelsea away, we've got City in the cup away as well. Oh yeah, which well, is about ne next week or so. That. Yeah. yeah. So, and what, 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 if we if 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 we want to win both those games, can you imagine? <laughs> but going back to Bruno, oh, yeah, no, I buy I buy you two camels. Oh, oh, four, four ball camels, but, but let me let, let Paul let Paul have his say. Go, go ahead, Paul. No, the key thing about Bruno in particular is that uh, when he hasn't played, we, we we haven't won a game. Yeah, that's how key that's how key he is to our squad. Almost two years. I, I agree squad. with it. 
literally. That's in the stats. That's a, that's that's a agree with that. Bruno is a eight or nine. He's not a five out of ten. There's no way in hell. Oh, nine is pretty good. <laughs> no, that's no compared to De Bruyne. What would you compare it to in general? I think in, in, in general, I. You see that pass that he made to and, what's and, his name? In general, in general, he's a, he's a seven and a half, maybe eight out of uh, out of ten, world class kind of thing. Bruno's Bruno's an average eight, but compared to Tenno, yeah. he's a five pound three. Yeah, and the, we know he's that. Being he's being wasted in center defensive mid not right now. He's, he's not a ten. He's box to box. Has got Foden and Rodri working with him. True, and that's that's the difference. So you so he will so, have Joe Linton and Tonali working with him. Then I was going to uh, 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 Tonali, Tonali no, is as he proved, as far as I'm concerned. P- p- proven at Milan, yes, but mm. uh, as regards Newcastle, unproven. Well, I mean, come but so with the Bruyne we is. This, we have these we have these narr- these takes that make no sense. If De Bruyne comes from Manchester City, well, he's proven at City, but not proven at Newcastle. He played for AC Milan, one of the biggest clubs in the history of football, and That's got to the semifinals. Bad. Got to the semifinals of the Champions League. How can we say he's not? And he was. Uh, he, he was. I watched Serie I, watch I, so I really, I kind of know. Like, the different, different league. You know, oh, I've, oh, I've seen oh, oh, oh. Leal with Tonali, all those good players that Milan has. Yeah, and who knocked no, who okay. knocked who knocked Milan in, uh, out of the Champions League? Man City, right? Man City, thank you. The best team in the world. What are we talking about? It makes no sense. Yeah, no, 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 Anybody gets team. knocked out, including yeah, English teams. Between the, the Premier League, League. League. Milan now. Another thing, another thing with Tonali. Chris, when, uh, with, well, hold on, hold on, let, 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 hold on, Colin. Let, let, let Peter, let, let, right. let PD have a say. Another thing with Tonali. As soon as he was taken, the Liverpool game he was taken off. We fell apart. Yep. Oh, Him yeah. and Gordon came that. off, and we we we. That went is true. That is true. Brazil we gave that game away. We gave that game Island. away. That is true. But Colin, go ahead, man. I don't see. Yeah, well, Chris, you you know you're saying about Tonali. Uh, top player for Inter Milan, which he was, AC uh, AC but AC that, that that's completely different. And coming to Newcastle <laughs> and saying it's not being fair because he was a top player for Milan, that he's a top player for Newcastle. Well, no, Derek's right because De Bruyne has proven himself in the Premier League, Tonali hasn't. The Premier League, as any play, a lot of players will tell you who have come from uh, Germany, who have come from Italy, Spain, France, to the Premier League, have failed completely. Because it's a different league. It's powerful. It's fast. So you have to play a different game. And Tanali hasn't proven himself in the Premier League. there's There's a level of getting accustomed to a league. It's just, But I could use the same argument against your your argument. That every English player has failed almost every ninety percent, ninety five percent failed outside of England, in, especially in Spain. Why is that? Well, you're just proving English your play- point, though, Chris. No, all well, you've no, done I, is I'm prove saying, my point. I'm saying, I'm saying league. that there's, a, I'm saying that there is a, a, a time where you get accustomed to the league, the language, the culture, all that stuff. But that doesn't mean that you are not just because you were elite in another league doesn't mean that you are not anymore on a, on the league that. You know that, that you're now in now. Uh, I mean, in anyhow, this proved your point because he put him on the pitch the first game, <laughs> the first game of the season. That I thought, I stupidly enough, I I thought that we were about to win every single trophy in the history of football this year. <laughs> uh, you know, so but I'm just I, saying we might well have done if we hadn't been plagued by injuries and bloody. And, that is a reason too. Nah, that is one of the reasons. Because we got Go. battered the next second game and then we, we got beat off Liverpool. Liverpool and... We didn't get battered the second game at all. <laughs> yeah. We, we, did. we, we were better than Liverpool, Liverpool, actually. No, no, we lost to Brighton. That was the Brighton second Brighton walked us off the pitch that oh, game. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. And we had, we had a full team. Full team. Neon was yeah. injured. 
Yeah, Roy's right. We had Long the full team. Long yeah. If Joey Linton had, scored, had, had put away that chance in the eighth minute, it would have been a totally different game because Pep would have had to abandon his plan, which he which he admitted after the game, was to do exactly what Newcastle did against Wolves on Saturday, sit back and hit them on the break because Guardiola admitted that if he tried to take Newcastle on head-to-head, they would have got beat. And if Joey Linton had scored that goal in the eighth minute, when he, how he missed it, I'll never know. But uh, if he'd popped that in, he would have had to abandon his plans there and then. And then it would have been a proper game instead of the... Yeah, but I'm, I'm not talking about games against City, though. I'm talking about the, the easy no matter game. That game at all. Yeah. And then we've got the injuries. Not at Brighton, though. As Roy said, at Brighton, yeah. we had a full Brighton, squad yeah. of... Tenali was in Liverpool. I mean, yeah, Tenali was. Yeah, I tell you this, day. Liverpool. Brighton I think that we were beat, better. We should have beat Liverpool, man. Liverpool. Yeah, won. but it's a no, 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 no. Yes, I, I think that we were better. One of those things that happened. Hold on, we were better, old man. But we were better than Liverpool. You got to play until we 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 got to play until the end uh, until the last minute, and I think that Eddie made some questionable decisions. Game management again. Yeah. We ha- we, it happened and months I'm, later I'm, against Milan. What I'm saying, that, but yeah, you can be better, but uh, the, the match doesn't end. You still got to finish the job. Yeah, we didn't. And no injuries then. Nobody telling me Liverpool deserved to win that game. If you look at the 90 minutes, that's nonsense. No, no. no they well, they I, didn't I, deserve, I, but they did. They didn't you know, deserve to beat Nottingham Forest. Uh, we, 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 well, then, until then, we suddenly got hit by... We dug our own grave that day. Nunez took away those chances cleanly. Yeah. Yeah. Our manager yeah, did a mistake. Is... Their manager took advantage and they won a game. Yeah. Because our yeah. stupidity. And Miggy But do we um I, this is an important I, I never I never thought that that honestly um I always had it clear that that everybody thought Joel Linton, Bruno Gimaraes, and Tonali were gonna be the starters on on, on a good day. Because I don't, I don't see, I don't foresee Eddie benching any of these guys, even uh, as he is married to Longstaff. He he would assume that he was going to drop these guys anyway. But you you guys believe that we need another midfielder, and he no. is essentially going to drop one of these guys, who I don't see by the way we going to the bench. We've got, we've you actually got. I, I think Joey Linton and Willock fighting out for that place. On the left hand side. Oh, you gotta add Willock to the mix. I had Willock as a sub when Tonali, Joe Linton, and the Grimmerize are fit. So Willock, who, Willock who, can play as a right wing, left wing, yeah, number ten, right. and that left side midfield well, any anyway. In the in the middle. Where's the goals coming from? He's a, Where's the goals coming from in Tonali? Joe Linton. Gumaras, where's 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 the goals coming from? If if if, if Gumaras well, as an eight instead of a six, goals, you'll get goals and you'll well, get. Well, Tonali, Tonali has goal. Tonali has goal. <clears throat> <clears throat> where first Yeah, but anyway, we've got we've got um Isaac and Gordon and. Yeah, yeah, but the, yeah, whoever, exactly. Whoever the midfielders are not. How how, yeah, yeah, how yeah. often do you have that? Well, that's why if you look at our goals, but, but, that, but, but that's the, the problem, though. We can't, we cannot cater to players that can't be a hundred percent on the pitch, which is an exaggeration. But I'm, you get the point. Uh, we can't have a number nine that 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 can't stay fit. So that is a problem that needs to be fixed. But we and can't just cater or. Well, exactly, and we can't cater around players like that either. I don't know. I don't, again, I don't know what the issue is. Whether he needs to have ter- surgery, well, he needs to have it, whether he likes it or not, or else he needs to think about his future because Newcastle United need a striker that can can be on the pitch. Uh, and so it's kind of oh, sort out the problem like that. Is that Isaac or I want to add something. Wilson? Isaac. Isaac was always kind of a player who was played sort of by injury since Dortmund. So I was kind of questioned why we like why we're surprised. Mm. But he wasn't. He wasn't oh, plagued by. He wasn't plagued by injuries. 
Isak wasn't killed by, by injuries. Not at Dortmund. Not at Dortmund. Not at Dortmund. In the beginning of the day. No, he wasn't. No, no, he missed him. Yeah. He missed about in in three years. He missed about six games. Yeah, that's not that's not bad. Yeah, no, that's not bad. But this season for no, Newcastle. Well, that's a freak accident. And then last season, he he wasn't even injured with us. He was injured with Sweden. So, well, that is a, a that is a fair point yeah. as well. Yeah, people coming up with all these. He he'll be fine. Um, We've only got yeah. two months left, and then you got a holiday preseason. Next season, hopefully, we've got another striker. We we'll get a rotation system right. in. Yeah, striker in the right wing. We need a right winger. We need another striker. If, if Wilson's gone, we need two strikers, and then we need left back. Those three areas, and then maybe a number six. But the way Eddie plays, yeah. he's not going to get a number six. <clears throat> so we've, got um, we've got six midfielders now, by the way. Six. Yeah, we've yeah, got two. Um, but that's what that's that's what we need. That's what you've got to have. You've got yeah, to have yeah, that. Yeah. We, we, we've got those six. So we've got uh, Miley, Longstaff, and Willock. We've got Bruno, Tonali, and Joe Linton. Those six midfielders now. Four of them are available. So, yeah, now now the now the injuries. We're fine there. Yeah. We need a left back and we need a right winger. And then we need mine on a back. on a left back on a left back. So we've signed left backs. We've signed Burn. Yep. We've signed Target. Yeah. We've got Hall, who yep. presumably were committed to buy. What the hell's going on with left backs? And we still need a we left back. Well, because yeah, we don't have we, really, we, uh, ah, and we've got uh, J Jamal Lewis out on loan as well. Ah, right, Jamal Lewis, and and we gave another contract to uh, Dumas. That's five. Uh, yeah, we've got five, five left backs, and we need another left back. So yeah, that's why I said that it was a big cock up. Bloody the hell! So all those left backs. And well, we well, yeah. Well, Dan Bar so Dan Burn is not a, right a, not a left back. He needs to go back to his position. He's not a left back. He and, could uh, be a left back. He has, just to come in, just come in. he has to come in. He has to come in at the end of the game. He needs to come back. To he, he's not a le he's not a left back. Uh, I mean, he he, he, he really out. isn't. He out game. <laughs> you can Eddie Howe can put the Bravka as a nine all he wants, but he's not a nine. He's a goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, so it's just the, the thing. <laughs> things are the way it they, they are, man. It worked. Um, it worked now, he out. worked and he and it was. Target exactly. so got injured last season. And then he had to put him on and left back, and it worked out, and he stuck to it. That's what's happened. Which a and commenter had... actually said uh, on last night's show, a commenter said that how can uh, we 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 lie to the public? He's not on 100k uh, a week. Um, who target? And uh, well, I, yes. I don't have any, any but I mean, he no, is. I'm not talking about who was it? Um, target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, people are like. Well, how can you say that? He's definitely not on 100K. Well, shoot. He definitely I, is. I mean, you know, he is, I, he is 100K. He definitely is. <laughs> and so... He's 100K. And, and it's blasphemy. Dan Byrne plays his, uh, uh, more games and he doesn't even get that, I don't think. Nowhere near. And uh, so... Uh, but listen, uh, it, it'll be it'll be something to keep an eye on. But uh, we had a we had a Kenny... Uh, uh, as as George would say, we had a Kenny, Kenny show. Um... I want to finish it on the on this fun fact, by the way. Um, uh, the Sun re, uh, shows this, that more than one in ten Geordies eat at least one pie every day is favorite flavor. Is they reveal flavor favor? What's the favorite flavor? Let me see. Uh, so it's steak and ale. What the hell is ale? I thought that was a beer. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Yeah. And, 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 and steak and kidney. You fuckers yeah. eat kidneys. Yeah. No, yeah. What the, the ale one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my God. Uh, they came on top as the, as, the, as, the, as, the, as the top flavors of the list that the people uh, the people like to eat. Uh, second was chicken and leek. What in the bloody hell is leek? <laughs> what is leek? It's something that grows on yeah, the trees, is... man. <laughs> you don't know what leek is. <laughs> I don't know yeah, what leak is. 
What happens after no, chicken and leek? Followed like by giant, steak and Stilton. They, listen, listen. I think I think the sun is fucking with me because they keep throwing these second these names. That I have no idea. They say followed by steak and Stilton. So no way in the yeah, hell is cheese. Stilton. Cheese. Oh, Stilton cheese. is cheese. Yeah, cheese. Steak and oh, Stilton. Cheese. Whoa. Get off. Okay. Steak and cheese. Uh, but but look, they're they are really trying <laughs> me because they say, but <laughs> listen. <laughs> but listen, they're 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 really trying me because they say, but less traditional than chicken and tikka. What the hell is tikka? Chicken tikka. Chicken oh, tikka. tikka masala. Oh, yeah, What's the know. top? Chicken well, tikka was the top, top choice for shoppers in major cities such as Manchester, uh, Leeds, Birmingham, and in London. Um, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I, I once of... went into the butchers and I asked for a steak and kiddly pie. And the butcher said, excuse me? What did you say? I said, a steak and kidney pie. He said, do you not mean a steak and kidney pie? I said, that's what I said, did I? <laughs> <laughs> There's that. Colin, Colin got the Jordy jokes, man. Oh, that's what I said, did I? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but... but. Oh, he's, own jokes, man. he's that, not gonna get it. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get it. No, no, yeah, no, no but nobody else got yeah, it. People, nobody nobody else got it. Why, I did. But uh, uh, anyways, we, uh, listen, we, we've we've had a great, great show. I appreciate um, everybody coming in. Uh, Nick Rowley, man, Nick, he lives. He's a Jordy living in America, living in Texas. I remember him from the very beginnings of the show. So, how you doing, Nick? Hope you're doing well. Uh, and everybody else, I appreciate your support as usual. Listen, uh, we're about to call it off. Tomorrow we'll be live with the NUFC Insiders debate show. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with to talk about. Um, but uh, we had a we had a really really great show. I appreciate uh, Peter coming on um, for the first time, Brian, as well as uh, Colin. Thank you, thank you for. Hopefully, it won't be the last time. You know, hopefully, you guys are available to keep oh, coming on. Time. No, not right, right. No, I know, I know. Ryan, you, you've been, you've been, you've been on, you've been on before. Uh, but listen, uh, smash the like button on your way out. Subscribe if you're new to the show. It's oh, I use gameplay. Another guy. Look at all the guys from the very beginning, man, coming on to the show. Very beginning. I'm talking about five subscribers when nobody was watching. Uh, you know what I mean? Just my wife watching on the other uh, in the living room. <laughs> she got uh, five computers on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> But uh, anyways, fellas, I appreciate you coming on, and uh, we'll stay in touch. And uh, Colin, I'll get your I'll get your contact from old man upstairs up there. And we'll, yeah, he we'll makes more you. sense than this guy. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> make more sense. You yeah, definitely. Colin, Colin, we are Stay on after the uh, credits. Yeah, he said stay stay on stay on after uh, stay after on. the show. Just don't don't go anywhere. Just stay right there. Don't move anything. Don't even. Don't even move move a lip, man. We'll 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 we'll, we'll be chatting. Can we have show. can we not have the Dan Burn song one more time? We one more time. I would yeah, not do that to the old on. man. Man, he's gonna be. No. Actually, people want to hear it live, a cappella. Yeah. So you know what? We're gonna make I, it happen. I think it's high time that Fabian Shea had his okay. own song. Oh, there you go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, he'll old man. Beat you on the ground, he'll beat you in the air. Oh, oh Fabian Shea, beat you on the ground, he scores from anywhere. Oh, oh Fabian Shea. There you oh, go. There we go. <laughs> go there. Beat there we you go. Good in job. the air. Oh. Oh. All the old man just oh, working. I think got nothing else to do. <laughs> Put him in the middle. He's Michael. Put him in the middle. He's Michael. I'm I'm uh, Jimmy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I appreciate your support. We will see you on the next one. Don't go anywhere, Colin. He'll never ever beat Dan Burn. He's from Black. He'll never right. ever beat Dan Burn. He's from Black. He's from fly. He'll never ever be done for. He's from fly. He'll never ever be done for. He's from fly.
Love Fly.